Welcome back to the channel everyone and today I'm going to show you the actual odds in the mystery box after using 100,000 essence. So first and foremost we're going to go over time versus rarity. So I went through a total of 110 uses of this box, most often being legendary, least often with wonder and kill, and the average rarity being epic surprisingly. So looking at this chart, as you see, as time goes on, so does the availability of the legendary ether tools when compared to the uncommon green. So at the beginning of the match, you will notice that there will be more green and at the end of the match, there's going to be less green and more legendary. Now, this is my prediction as to why they would do this would be that it takes so long for casual gamers to grind through all of the contracts that by the end of the match, about the 30, 40 minute mark, they should have enough to grind for tier two and three zones. Now, when looking at the overall odds of getting either cumulatively, you have a greater chance of snagging a legendary and obviously a next to nothing chance of getting both kill streaks and wonder weapons. But close second is between the purple rarity tool, the epic, as well as the rare blue tool. Now, looking at the frequencies of all of them cumulatively, you'll see that orange being legendary is significantly higher or noticeably higher than all of the other tools which is kind of a shocker especially because they really don't pop into the box until after the 30 to 35 minute mark which shows you how often you can get a legendary next let's go to weapons so most often i did an assault rifle least often was launchers and melee an average gun being an assault rifle so overall through the whole match you have the highest odds of receiving an assault rifle with the lowest odds of receiving a melee the fact you have a higher odd of receiving an lmg over a battle rifle to me personally is kind of shocking as well as not receiving as many shotguns but let's move over to the frequency data so looking at this chart, the later on into the match you go, the higher the odds of receiving an LMG. Meanwhile, as you see, a handgun as well as an assault rifle are pretty much an even spread across the board. Looking at this chart, you will notice assault rifles dominate the entire field. You have higher odds of even scoring a wonder weapon in a kill streak than you will actually, um, let's say, a melee or launcher. So in a nutshell, wait until at least the 30 minute mark of the match before you want to hit the box, let's say for a legendary LMG and a legendary assault rifle. Meanwhile, your best bet at getting an epic gun such as an LMG or an AR probably needs to be between the 17 minute mark to the 28 minute mark. Honestly, I believe they have this scattered out the way they do because a lot of players are casual and really don't leave tier one or tier two unless they absolutely have to. And so by them dropping more legendary weapons in boxes that late in the game would kind of incentivize them to, well, one, already have the cash from contracts and two, be able to give them a weapon that gives them the confidence to go into the upper tiers. So I hope all this helps and lets you visualize just how the timing of the game correlates to drops in the box. But let me know what you think in the comments below. I look forward to seeing all of you in the next one.